morning everybody and welcome to Worship at Home. Trinity 5, July the 12th. Lovely to see you all this morning. Uh, Harry's here with me on the sofa and uh, we're looking forward to beginning our worship with our first hymn this morning. Come let us join our cheerful songs. Let's sing together. Come let us join our cheerful songs. past few weeks I've had conversations with the wardens around the benefice about opening churches. Uh, next week we move to a whole different stage. Next week we actually have public worship here again in the benefice. Uh, we're going for open air services. Uh, we're going to be moving around the benefice and Steeple Aston is the first place that's going to have this next Sunday July the 19th 10 30 a.m. in the open air in the churchyard there at Steeple Aston. Please bring a chair Please be prepared for social distancing. That's really important in these days. And also please wear a face covering or a mask. I know that masks in public worship is going to feel really strange when we begin to do that. But um, washing our hands is something we do for ourselves. Wearing a mask is something we do for other people. And we should always be thinking of other people. Love God, love each other. So um, let's make a thing of it. Hey, let's make a real positive uh, I'm going to award a prize to the most colourful or creative mask that somebody comes up with next Sunday as we gather in Steve Laston Churchyard. So I look forward to your creativity as we worship together. Um, and um, we're going to do communion together. It's a said service. The diocese are asking us not to sing for the time being. So uh, we will continue with worship on worship at home. This will continue. I'll try and put a little bit more singing in this service so that you can sing at home. Uh, sing at your computer screen or TV or however it is you watch this. Uh, and um, But when we're together, we'll have communion. Um, those of you on the email, uh, I will send out the service sheet the day before so you can print off your own service sheet and bring it. But I will have some printed sheets uh, in the churchyard for people who aren't able to do that uh, as well. Uh, I really, really look forward to seeing everybody in person. I know some of you can't come. Uh, Worship at Home is going to continue. Don't worry about that. Um, but I do look forward to those of you who will be able to come to joining us uh, July the 19th. The services will be fortnightly. If you go to our website, www.sntchurch.com, some of you are watching this on that right now, there's going to be a list of when the services are. Harry's getting very excited. He's not going to be there. He's not going to be there. For see Harry, you've got to watch this online. Uh, and um, But uh, I really look forward to it and see you there. Anyway, let's have our Bible reading. And our Bible reading this week is going to be read for us by Jeff Hunter and by Margaret Lindley over in Tackley Churchyard. Jeff, Margaret... Please read for us from Matthew chapter 13. Thank you very much. That same day, Jesus went out and sat by the lakeside, where so many people gathered round him that he had to get into a boat. 
He sat there, and all the people stood on the shore. He told them many things in parables. He said, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some of the seed fell along the footpath, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil, and it sprouted quickly because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun rose, it was scorched, and as it had no root, it withered away. Some fell among thistles, and the thistles grew up and choked it. And some of the seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. If you have ears, then hear. Listen then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. This is a seed sown along the path. The one who received the seed that fell on rocky places is the man who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since it has no root, he lasts only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, he quickly falls away. The one who received the seed that fell among the thorns is the man who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it, making it unmeanful. But the one who received the seed that fell on good soil is the man who hears the word and understands it. He produces a crop, yielding a hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So that reading from uh, Matthew 13 is a very, very familiar parable. And um, I thought that we'd think about it in... Oh, goodness, what's happening here? Oh, hello. What was that? Well, it's lovely to see you as well. Yeah, I'm just... Um, it's kind of sermon time, uh, actually. So, do you mind if I... Well, it's not that I'd rather preach than talk to you. It's just that, you know, in the swing of things, this is what it is. Yeah, what's that? Oh, I can hear more noise. What's going on? What is going on there? What, 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 what is, what, what is all of that? Dog biscuits. Oh, are they your dog biscuits? <laughs> Uh, no, they're not your dog biscuits. You don't eat dog biscuits. You eat ice cream, of course. Of course. Uh, so, whose dog biscuits are? They're Harry's dog biscuits. You're throwing Harry's dog biscuits. Don't, for goodness sake. I mean, I don't know where he is at the moment, but... Sorry, what are you doing? You're being the stupid farmer. Sorry, from the parable. Which, which which parable? Oh, the one that Jeff and Margaret read. Oh, do you know that in the parable it's not a, it the the farmer is God. Ah, right. But you still think he's stupid. Why? Oh, because he throws the seed everywhere, like you're throwing the dog biscuits everywhere. So, why does he do that? Well, yeah, I sort of get the picture that you're thinking, if he's throwing the seed, why would a farmer throw seed on rocky ground? Yeah, but he does it for a reason. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, really, yes. And this is the reason, if you'd like to... Listen for a moment. Okay, this is the reason. Um, they're not dog biscuits and the seed is, he throws it everywhere because I feel like I'm being watched. 
Um, he throws it everywhere because it's like God's love. The seed is God's love. And God throws his love everywhere because actually it doesn't matter who you are or whether you feel you're worth it. God loves us. He loves you. Even when you're throwing Harry's dog biscuits around. And when that love goes everywhere, it's not that you're worth it. It's what you do with it. It's what you do with it. So um, sometimes when God throws his love around, um, people receive it and go way and then just kind of forget it. And sometimes people receive God's love and go, oh, that's marvellous, but cares come and just kind of take the life out of it. And sometimes when people receive God's love, it goes really deep. So guys, what do you reckon? Which one do you want to be there? So do ah, you don't want that love to die. You want it to bring life. Sweet. That's fine. <laughs> Me too. Because it's not actually a case of will God throw his love out there? He really will. That's not the question. It's what will we do with it when God loves us? Will we let it shrivel away? Will we let other things get in the way? Or will we let God's love grow? Okay, well, thank you very much. Nice to see you. I'm gonna, oh, oh, they've gone. I think that's probably my sermon time done. Shall we pray? The Collect for the Fifth Sunday after Trinity. Almighty God, send down upon your church the riches of your spirit and kindle in all who minister the gospel your countless gifts of grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for the church and for the world, remembering especially in a moment of quiet those who are suffering in this time of pandemic, those who are caring for others, and all whose lives are turned upside down, the lonely, the fearful, and all who struggle in body, mind, or spirit. We bring before God those we love and those who are feeling unloved. We pray that we may all gather together again soon for worship and fellowship and simply to see each other. We pray for those who grieve and for those in need, that the Holy Spirit would bring comfort and that we might be strengthened to serve others and to bring God's grace and love to make this world new. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. <clears throat> and together we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Good Christians all, rejoice and sing is our final hymn this morning. Let's sing together. Good Christians all.
So we conclude our service together with the words of the grace. Let's pray it together as a blessing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>